It's beer o'clock on Real Old Craft Beer. Today we've got a beer from Amaga Brewhouse and it's part of their 10 year anniversary series of beers. It's called Christopher the Crimson Crooner, a bourbon barrel aged barley wine coming in at 11% ABV. There's a look at the label. There's the bottle cap. Let's get this beer out into a glass and see what we get. Very quickly before I do so, if you want to pause the video and have a, a read of the description, the story of the beer, uh, please pause the video now. And I'm going to get on with this beer review. Uh, I'd like to thank Morton for sending me the beer. Morton sent me the whole range, this whole 10 year anniversary series of beers. Fantastic, fantastic thing to do. Thank you very much Morton who lives in Norway and he went to Denmark on holiday and sent me a load of beer from Denmark. Thank you very much, mate. Really appreciate it. Nice bit of smoke on the bottle opening. Beer in the glass then. Have a look in the, the, the neck of the bottle. You can see all of the unfiltered goodness making its way into the glass. Wow! Did you see that from the neck? Just had a whiff of caramac. Weird caramac, caramel flavours coming through. And I've, I've not even got to the aroma yet. yet. Let's do the description, what the beer looks like. Uh, one finger white head, hazy. Golden, amber coloured beer, maybe deep mahogany, a deep hazy mahogany chestnut coloured beer if you like. Good levels of carbonation rolling up the glass. You can see the sediment, just the dense sediment. Let me try and get the camera to, to, to find it. There you go, can you see, look at that. suspended sediment there fantastic let's get the aroma yeah like a caramac caramac chocolate coming through it's like a white if you've not had a caramac it's like a white caramel chocolate bar touch a whiskey touch a wood Biscuity, bready, malty. Touch of alcohol coming through at 11% ABV. It smells pretty good. Vanilla, plum. Mmm, smells good. Let's dive in. Cheers, everybody. Oh, Stone the Crows, Stone the Crows, that's a really, really good beer. And I do this every single time, every single time somebody sends me a barley wine, whether it's from a brewery, whether it's from a, a, a fantastic member of the public from around the world who watches the channel, decides to send us some beer. I think I'm going to leave the barley wine till the, till the end, till the last. Because I think, I, I shouldn't, I don't know why I think this. I don't know why I think it, but I'm going to be honest with you guys. I read barley wine. Maybe it's got the word wine in. Maybe it's just the word wine. I just, it's a bit, it's a bit, oh, it's, it's it, for me, and I, and I apologise if you love a barley wine. Apologise greatly if you love a barley wine. When you when you read the style, when you leave an eleven percent barley wine, it's like I'm just going to review something else tonight. I'm just going to leave that barley wine maybe till next week, and you keep pushing it back. Maybe to the week after. Maybe to the week after that, and then you finally get round to it. You finally open it, and you go, oh. 
Stone the Crows, what a tremendous, tremendous beer. There is so much going on. There is so much going on. The 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 rich biscuity multi bready feel of freshly baked bread flavour coming through, the nuttiness, the vanilla, the oak. It's really rich. The beer's got a good mouth feel. Carbonation pushes the beer on the inside of the mouth. There's some oak and vanilla. I like the sweetness. I like the bitterness on the back end from the hops. And then you scratch your head. You're scratching your head because you're thinking, I actually love a good barley wine. It just reminds myself. Every time I review a barley wine, it reminds me just how good they are. And I might go now another month or two without reviewing a barley wine. And then I'll do the whole process again in my mind. I'm like a goldfish going around, especially with barley wines. I'm like a goldfish. I forget just how good a barley wine is. I, I don't know if you share the same experience with me. I don't know if, I don't know if you, it's the name of the beer. Maybe it needs rebranding. Maybe maybe somebody needs to call it something else to make it a little bit more interesting, a little bit more enticing is the word, a little bit more enticing. Because for me, the word barley wine just it just doesn't it just doesn't scream at me. It just doesn't make me want to jump to my beer cupboard and grab it and and review it at nine o'clock in the morning. Some beers do. Some beers, I come in the kitchen here and I, I see them in the cupboard there. I'm like, have I got to wait till seven o'clock when the kids are in bed? Or can I just pour it all over my cornflakes? But uh, barley wine just don't do it for me. In terms of the wording, in terms of the name of the beer, but then when I get around to tasting it, phew, tremendous, tremendous style beer. So what I'm getting at here is that yes, I really, really like this beer let's rate it it's just lovely and rich and woody and the barrel has really made this beer fantastically just made it a fantastic beer the woodiness the, the vanilla mixed with the nuttiness from the malt, the biscuity, the breadiness, the sweetness. Uh, it's just the plum, the fig, the prune. It's a tremendous beer. I'm going to give this beer a 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10 from Relo Craft Beer. The next time I get a barley wine, I'm going to watch this review back and I'm going to go, yeah, I'm not going to wait two months before I review that barley wine. I really like it. 10 out of 10. Thank you very much to Morton. Please put your comments in the comments box. Subscribe to our daily beer reviews. Give us a big fat thumbs up. Boom! And cheers.